Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to Ian's Adventures once again in the great outdoors. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. <laughs> Enjoy the video. Bob's back there I'll be in a minute because we're, we're looking for this area, this loca location. We can't find the hotel guys, it's like being pissed in Ibiza. We can't find this hotel, but I'll find it. I'll have, to, I'll have to phone management and ask who has to get there. What if I get a taxi? I know it's up here. So I know it's. I know it's here somewhere, Rob. That's what you said out there, yeah. It was here last time I came. <laughs> Maybe they've moved. I, I, I tell you how I know it's here. It's, a, it's like another drop that goes down and a cave on your right hand side. Last time I came, there were some babes that were mating and having babies. So, I know it's close to there. So, we'll just get look at that, isn't that lovely? It's got to be better than what you tell it, surely. Maybe not as good as watching my YouTube channel, but better than telly. Oh, put it on wood. <laughs> Hey Rob, we're a walk us in. Here we go. If anybody comes here camping in the future, please, please look after it. I'm getting this video now away because I want to make sure people know that when we turn up, if there's any mess, it's not us that's caused it. It's a well-known place. It's a place of outstanding natural beauty. There she is. Oh, it looks like some... Oh, no, yeah. Being ginger, I can, being ginger, I'm allowed to step gingerly. <laughs> you like that? Dave, here look, there's a little place. You do the gingers. That's right. <laughs> You've got a one man tent. You could do that's it, the camp. That's the campsite, Rob. Yeah, snug pack on, isn't it? Yes. Or my, a, a little, uh, what do call it? A Van Gogh 200. Oh yes, yeah, some rubbish down there. Well done, Rob. We were going to I always take rubbish away if people see me on the videos. That's a good place to have a fire if you're having one. I've got to be honest. There, look. Yeah, sheltered. Yes, it is good. I need to sit around a bit. <laughs> have to get in it, like a couple of hermits. Well, last time I came in, I found this by accident. I was down there being eaten by midges almost literally. Yeah. And I looked up here and I saw like this ridge and I thought, well, we'll check that out. Here we go. Here we go. Under there looks a little bit dry, but there's some rat holes, so you might have visitations from ratties. Mm -hmm. All these puddles have all filled up. I was here in the summer. Big slab in there, everybody. I swear that slab were bigger. I'm sure it came down here, but there you go. Yeah, easy. easy. Ugh. Yeah. 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 There's a lovely pond up here if you want fresh This will be fresh water because it's yeah. I, can, I can drink and I'm just pulling 24 kil kilogram of up. That pond, that pool, is is constantly raining. So that's not bad that if you use your survival straw, that's a, a lovely place. Or uh, I might get a bath later. <laughs> right, I'll look over there. Yeah. That's the view from the hotel. We're out on the balcony now, Rob. Yeah. Uh, and that is actually Robin Hood's balcony in there. Yeah. You can have a risk your life across the area. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the slab. This is the uh, sleeping area. I think it has actually broken. See that big lump down there? How, I don't know. But that bit there, you start showing it used to jut out. So like a slab here and a slab over there, but you can easily get two people in there anyway. Isn't it? There you go. This is the hotel where we will be stopping, hence tonight. Yeah, yeah. Be nice one here. <laughs> so, so okay, people. So it's all about sorting out accommodation. Now we're going to stop up there on the slabs, but then we found this. Well, I found Anuk were here, but so we're sleeping in a cave. 
That's going to be awesome. The ground's drying there so it can rain its ass off and we're safe. So I'm going to sleep over there in my old bivvy and then Rob's going to sleep up there in his bivvy. And in the middle I've been setting a little fire up which I've brought which is going to be quite exciting. Uh, I'll just back up and show you this. That's doing it forever because it takes a while. Uh, Rob's, Rob's, uh, Rob's sleeping mat's died at some point and he's now trying to bring it back to life. He's trying to do CPR and resus. I can't wait till he starts to start his snuggies sleeping mat. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> Keep going, mate, you'll get there. Now, we're inside our little uh, hotel room now. I've got my oop bivy at the table, let's just show you. You've got a bit of sand here, so it's like being on holiday. <laughs> but I've got my oop, you see, here, look. I've got my oop bivy. I'll show you now if it gets too dark. Then I've got this thermal there, you know, the silver insulation there with the spongy back, which is great. And then I've got my army sleeping bag. And that's going to keep me toasty tonight because that's going to reflect all my heat back in on me. Yes, smashing cat weight. First time I've used that. It's, it's all light. You don't even know you're carrying it, basically. Right. And then I've got my burgundy. And uh, uh, Rob's got a standard uh, bivy. Bivy bag. Gore-Tex bivy. Yeah, he's got his ground sheet on and... And then he's got his expert uh, sleep mat. Yep. Which is now reviving. So you get there. You get in there, right? Come back there. in ten minutes, we'll be right. <laughs> so I want me I got my hat on there. Got my lovely hat. But I've got a lovely warm hat for later. You'll get to see that later on. And I've also brought the infrared video camera, because as we're in a dark environment. Come on guys! In this cool! This is so cool! <laughs> You're gonna have to. <laughs> If, if anybody wants to come here again, it's not very often I, I go to the same place twice, but if, if we can get a few people that want to come, mate, how many people do you reckon you can get in this cave? In here? Well, depends how cosy you want to get. Six? <laughs> Probably. Could get six in here. <laughs> but if it's a fire, I don't want to be at that end. Right? But we've got a fire. We're going to have a fire going in a bit. I'd have a fire in a cave with no sticks. I shall show you. <laughs> See you in a minute. Fine, excuse me, because I'm dumping on the nuts. Not <laughs> But I just sound wrong. Technically, I'm not actually jumping on my nuts, but I've got. Oh, God, I'll just show you. <laughs> Me too, nuts. All right. So, you have a problem trying to hear what I'm saying. Right. <coughs> Trangy triangle. We've seen that loads of times. It's my baby, it's what I use. That's my little Trangy burner, blah, blah. But Rob brought this. It's a little wood burner. It'll take a Trangy burner. It also takes a Trangy gel burner. You remember me saying on one of my videos, I don't know if I did do, but uh, I feel sure I did, that if you use a transy normal burner uh, with gel fluid, it all like con con uh, what's the word? congeals in bottom afterwards and there's horrible residue and it knackers your burner up. But that's the proper burner thing for it. So you can also put the Exley blocks in there as well. You were using Exley blocks, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. It, all the memories came flooding back. Right, and this little thing just Clips together, very nice, and in the bottom there you can have a fire if you want to, so you can have solid fuel wood burning stuff, or you can have the Trangy proper burner, meth burner, or you can have the uh, alternate burner there for the gel fluid, and <laughs> the exit blocks, pardon me, and it all just clips together with that there. So I'll just try to show you a couple of options. Jump in mate. I'll take it apart. Let me it apart. Look how impressive this is, look how fast it is. It's on the generation game, isn't it? Yeah. Like a lot of lightning. Look at that. Look how fast he is. <laughs> hey, imagine you're on stand two. Quick, you've got to get all your gear packed away. Stand two, stand two. It's the book of that. Guys, military guys should be using these. That's it. Boom, bang, bosh. Gone. Packed away. He's up, got his weapon. That's it. Gone. Munchy. Finished. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I put into some kind of perspective that some people might recognise. Right, fire for tonight! There you go! An Optimus tin and one of these. Yes, it's cheated! I know it's cheated, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I haven't been out for seven weeks and enjoying myself. A quick start, replaces paper and kindling, but it sparks easily, it's a zip one, and it burns for 45 minutes, it says. There we go. We need that 45 minute burn time. So I brought three. Work that one out yourself. 
<laughs> I'm too tired. Right, so that's that. So we're gonna get that going, we can cook on that. And there's my kitchen, people. I've got my water, I've got about three litres of water, my Stanley pot. I've got my fluid up there. I've got my Stanley uh, ink flask. It's, it's all Stanley, I've just realised. It's like looking at a workman's bag. Uh, a Stanley um, brandy flask for later. I've got my, uh, we'll call it, a thing of candle, we'll call them. Nine hour candle. And there's the uh, military mug. It's all there. It's all there. And Rob's throwing all this stuff out now. Thank you, Rob. Yeah, I'm getting there. Rob's having a wonderful time in this amazing. Uh, it's a man cave. It's cracking here. It's a man. It's a man cave. <laughs> we're, in, we're in the what? In the man cave. Anyway, so there you go. Right. So there's my sleep system. That's all set up. We're not. We're cracking. Look at this. And now all I do is walk out. Let go outside, mate. And show them. Uh, oh. You do that, I'll carry on it. Oh, I can't. I'm just having a bit of... I'm six foot. Oh, I've got an excuse. Hang on. Oh. Ah. So we'll just walk out onto the veranda, as you do. Ah. I'm just going to go and check bar out, mate. All right. Yes, Mikey. Yeah, no worries. I'll look at this for a view of the veranda. Look at that. Oh, you've got motorbikes going uphill. That's nice. If anybody wants to know where it is, ask me. But please, please, if you come in here, guys, look after it. Because it's a very special place. Last time I was here, I slept there on the slab, but it was summer. And that's where we're sleeping, in that hill over there. People wonder why my videos are so long. It's because I rabble on for so long. There you go, look. There you go. And there's Rob in the man cave. <laughs> I was going to say wave. He waved anyway. It's good. Right guys, I've got my hat on at a minute, I'll be putting my, be putting my warm hat on later on, this is just sort of to keep your wind off, sort of thing. See you in a minute. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Magic Cave. <laughs> what you might like that. Right, tonight we are officially cavemen. It's quite right, isn't it Rob? Yep. I'll just show you Rob, Rob's down there. I'm still here. Look at that, look at that. The fire is wonderful. And it's well contained, and it's very ergonomic, and it's very environmentally friendly. Not for atmosphere necessarily, because it's producing carbon monoxide. As all fires do, technically as all things do. It's a byproduct of biodegrading. Anyway, anyway, behind me is a big hole. In the rock. <coughs> there is. And, and in it, it's got a Tyrannosaurus rat. <coughs> we think, I think, because I'm not right. So, oh, there, look. Can you see it? Not the rat, I mean the hole. I'm expecting some horrible coming out of there during the night with my massive teeth wanting to eat my face. But I can't see any fur and I can't see any scurry, scratchy marks on the ground, so... And there's no droppings at all. But there's, oh, there's lots. Look at this over here. There's some more over here. I reckon if we put our hands in there... No, I, I, put, I reckon if Rob puts his hands in there... <laughs> Thanks. I if Rob, if Rob puts his, his hands in there, I reckon you'll find some really, really cut that's getting get scared of themselves back on focus. We're here, we're here, focus. Fo you don't want to focus. What's happened to, what's happened to that, Rob? I don't know. I mean, I mean it can't, it can't. Hold that, see you will. I don't know. You don't want to focus. Why do you focus? It's just not, it's not focusing, what's it? Right, we've had a problem with focusing, we couldn't get camera to focus, so we we'll carry on from where we are now. Anyway, um, yeah, so Rob's down there. What were we even talking about? Oh, rat. Oh, we did rat, we did rat, but we didn't do the rat. <laughs> we did the rat, then we're doing the fire. Fire, yeah, yeah, we've got the fire. Um, your, your boots warm. Yeah, it's keeping me, me, my shoes have got cold and wet. I've got all wet feet. So now my socks are all like wet. So I've got other socks, obviously. But now I've got to dry my socks without setting them on fire. <laughs> you came close there. Well, it's going it's to save fuel, <laughs> isn't it, if you think about it. So I'll get them socks dried out, and I'm going to try and dry my boots out one way or another. Now, since I've done that, temperatures go up to four degrees. That's the fire. And before it was dying a Ross, weren't it? It was. Three degrees. You like that? Boom, boom. Right. So, yeah, we're just covering now what, 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 how far we've got, right? We're in this cave. We've arrived, obviously. That's why we're here. We've, we've come down here to Robin Hood's cave and Robin Hood's balcony. And we were going to sleep on the slab. <coughs> Sounds like going in hospital, doesn't it? <laughs> but, but then we, we thought, we, you know, 
Let's have a look round. So I came in and had a look in here because I knew this existed because I'd seen it last time already. And I, I said, well, I'll sleep in here and you can sleep on slab because I've been a gentleman. Because, like, you know, rain had come in a bit and we wanted only just enough room for one person to sleep on slab or two to push. Right? Didn't want to get romantic at all, you know. So <laughs> I thought, well, I'll go and have a look at that. So I saw this and I saw it ground in here. It looked like a beach. It was like being at Skegness. Uh, so I've put my uh, ground sheet down. And we've both moved in here, yep. like squatters, um, like hermit squatters even. And we ain't leaving. <laughs> and now we've had a cup of coffee, I've had a cup of soup, and I've set all my stuff up, everything's in place, and we're good to go. Now later on, when it gets darker, don't worry, you're alright, because I've brought me infrared video camera, which I showed you on the last video. And yes, they'll all stay in line, because I'm leaving all my videos on now, aren't I? I'm not going to start getting face on, spit it dummy out and uh, taking all my videos off, so we're all good. It looks to me like that's dropping out of focus again. We're thinking it's haunted in here and it keeps making my <laughs> camera play up. Yeah, but I would think it were haunted, weren't it? Because that's kind of way I sort of roll. Hello. Focus. Focus. Oh, I might have to put my camera, I might have to put this on my face. We're sending smoke signals now. Okay, so <laughs> it's, it's fire. <laughs> Fire with that. Rob. Just about. Rob, Rob. <laughs> do, you, do you know what I was saying about, <coughs> about carbon monoxide? Well. We're not going to do it. Where you at, Rob? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to. I'm just going to put my smoke flare outside. I'll get my compass out. <laughs> Keep talking, I'll work my way to you. I think I'm going to be sick. Right, I'll see, see in a minute, everybody, while I just check this. It's like sleeping in this world, like laying in a chimney. <coughs> oh, that's see in a bit. Right, people, it's that time again. It's time for the cooking. <laughs> it's cooking time. And Rob is here to experience it in first hand. Aren't you, Rob? I am. <laughs> Can't see you, Rob. Wait a minute. Aren't you, Rob? Yep, uh, there you go. <laughs> I am, yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, that's a bit stark, is that? Do you, do you like the hat? It's a very nice... Wait a minute. I've got to give myself a bit of decorum. That's it. Okay. Right. Don't worry about radio, mate. Okay. We, no, we're all good. Right, so today, what have we got on the menu? I've been waiting to do this. Seven weeks I've been waiting to do this. I've got the same rice as you and I made. Well, oh, well, you've got bismarty, I've got pilau. He's got pilau rice and I've got bismarty. But, but, to, but to be honest, bismarty sounds a little bit more professional. <laughs> People just have pilau. It's like, you know, if you don't know about Indian food, what are you having? Excuse me, sir, what would you like from the menu? Pilau rice. That's what people have when they're drunk in it, when they've been out to a nightclub. But if you want Bismarck, hey, yes, I'd rather have Bismarck, please. So, the Bismarck rice it is. Thank you, sir. So, we've got that. What's in here? I ain't got a clue. That's what you say when you're totally baggered and you've been to a nightclub. What would you, what would you like for your main meal, sir? I don't know. I love that. What is it? I don't know. Number 42. Yeah, it's like that. Oh, it's, it's, oh it's, <laughs> wait a minute. No, wait a minute. It's got some writing on it. Bombay Biryani! I've got bum, uh, Bombay Bimboy Bombay Biryani 23. <laughs> it must be between 23 on menu. Ah, right. Yeah. Yep. What have you got for your main menu? Main um, meal? I've gone for the old. Uh, look what we found chili con carne! Yep, what we got for the old uh, <laughs> chili con carne! That's so, all, there you go. Apparently, chili con carne isn't real Indian though, mate. It's, no. an Indian, it's a, a British variation. I've gone for a, a crossover food. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm emerging the two um, things. That, that's <laughs> good. That's good. So what we're going to do is we're going to point the torch, the, the variable light source, you like that, <laughs> down here. And I'm going to prepare the cooking area as I do. So that'll be down there. So just bear with me one moment. Right, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. We've got the Trangy Triangle. You like that? Trangy Triangle. Which has just dropped out of the shop, so I need to drop the camera down very slightly. 
Babe! I'm not going to get his cooking in because I don't want to show his cooking off. He's <laughs> better than yours. <laughs> well, gives you that impression. <laughs> right, so we've got to get my fire going. You know, I like to use different uh, methods of lighting fires. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So on this occasion, I'm going to use something which is different to what I've used before. It's called a lighter. <laughs> like that, watch. Did you, like, did you like how efficient that was? Yeah, I thought that was quite good. So now I'm going to actually put the uh, the grill back on. The gr grill, he says. That's it, it goes on. And we're going to be using once this again, this container. Do you like how I put the air uh, on end? It makes it sound <laughs> a little bit posher. I like that. Uh, so I need to find... I've got some I can put... What I'm having to do at the minute, people, is, is like, you know, like in a sand pit. I'm having to build this up because I'm on a slant. There we, go, there we go, that's good, that's good. So we've got a little bit of water in the bottom of the pan. All, all right, I'm pointing it at bloody light. In the bottom of the pan. So, and that's for me rice. The basmati rice. The basmati rice. Yeah, because we don't the want posh the, rice. Yeah, not the, not the cheap crap. Right, so, here we go. Dingly dong. Oh, and get that. <laughs> so there it goes. Oh, such a chef. Not eating it all, because I'm not greedy. How much of your yours are you eating, mate? There's only oh, one, oh, you're eating all it, yours. There's only one dose size. Oh, sorry. sorry. The whole eating, packet. Sorry, he's eating all this. Yeah. So I'll put that down there. Uh, and once that starts to, you know, warm up and such like, and do what it's doing, we will uh, move on, basically. We'll move on to the... the, the the bit with the main meal. See you in a minute, people. Hello again. I've cooked it. Now, there might have been some other stuff involved in this uh, part of the video, you know, the cookie thing. But I'll put my rice in and then stirring it around and burning it, and it started smelling like burnt rice pudding. But, <coughs> pardon me, um, it, I, I missed it. And I, mi I missed that bit of video because we did one of those Facebook Live things. People who are watching this might think, oh yeah, I remember that, we saw that, uh, and interacted on it. So, that's what it were. We did we did a little sort of Facebook Live, because I suddenly got uh, some network. So, I hope, you've I hope you've enjoyed this part of the video where we do his cooking. Alright, well there it is. There's my slop. Uh, and I'm going to munch that down. You've had yours, haven't you, Rob? I've had mine, I'm getting a brew on. He's getting a brew on now, and he seems to be eating chocolate. No, no. Oh, so, uh, you need to next block. You need to next block. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm, um, I'm getting hungry. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna eat this. I've got loads of munchies and stuff like that. I've got my brandy. We're all good for the rest at night. So I'll see you in a bit. Right. This is just um, a quick shout out and hello and thank you to Les Davidson that I got in touch with off the Bushcraft Trade Post Facebook page, who made me this lid. As you can see, Les, I asked for it with no holes, but I've ended up drilling some in it anyway. Uh, it fits perfectly, really nice, a lot cheaper than the ones you can buy in town. A lot cheaper than mine. And if you actually have a look over here, it's quite superior to um, it's the, I made <laughs> Ian's mine. homemade one. I made that at <laughs> the top of the thingy. So, look at mine. Look at mine, everybody. <laughs> no one with that, look at them. Look at them. Well, and then, and then look at this one for superiority. <laughs> no, look, so, Les we Davidson... don't need to look at yours anymore. Ah! Uh, <laughs> don't run with that. We've just moved on to mine now. <laughs> That's all right, isn't it? That. Did you see how I've, I've carefully, very, very care, <laughs> very, very, very carefully tapped that edge down? <laughs> it's sick of that. Anyway, anyway, go on. I'll let you get back on with yours. Uh, but just say, Les, thank you very much. Les Davidson makes decent lid pots. Thank you. So that's an advertisement for Les Davidson. Les Davidson. Yep. Uh, is a lid pot creator. Yep. Nice bit of kit, people. If you want one, you can contact us, and uh, we'll pass the information forward. Or we'll find him through Bushcraft Trade Posts on it? Facebook. Hey, yo, uh, does he make any other stuff? I don't know yet. We don't know, but we'll find out, or you will do. Or something. <laughs> See you in a bit. Bye. Hello, everyone. It's cooking time too. So, I sound like a total lunatic, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> Cooking time, too! <laughs> He's saying, yeah. Uh, it's time to, we're having his oats. <laughs> that might sound wrong to, to some, but it, it's, it's totally innocent. 
<laughs> I've still got me, do you like me hat? I've, I've got that hat on still. It's look like I've got like a, like a monk's habit on or something. Um, so yeah, I've got two lots of oats in there with me water. Now, I haven't cleaned my pan out, so I've still got me curry in. So it's like curried oats. Uh, but I'm also having chocolate in, so it's chocolate, it's curried. Chocolate. It's, oh, is that again? It's not, it's not real chocolate. <laughs> It's not real milk, it's not real chocolate, it's not real sausage, it's not real beef. <laughs> it's all vegan. It technically is, is chocolate because it tastes like chocolate. And I understand, I understand the other stuff, you know, about the, the sausage. It's not real, really sausage, is it? If you haven't got sausage, you meat in. But, this is different, it's chocolate chocolate. So I'm melting chocolate in, so it's going to be chocolate curried oats. And that's going on there now, just to melt the chocolate in. And to some that might sound disgusting, but it is. Uh, and you're doing the same thing, aren't you? Well, just a sp yeah, I don't, oh, I've, no, got, ah, I've got, ah, I've got me, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You tried getting out of it then, didn't you? But no, <laughs> no, we're not, we're not having none of that. But that's thickening up nice, so it shows you, you can have your oats <laughs> while you're out camping. And eat them. And, and, eat, and eat them, yeah, that's a bit weird. So, chocolate oat curry. Chocolate oats curry. What are you having? Oh, I've got, I've got a rat pack chocolate pudding in. I chocolate remember what store. I said. Oh, 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 remember what I said on my video about camping nutrition that you shouldn't be eating stuff like that after camping, after uh, rat packs. <laughs> and he's eating one. I told him earlier it was fine. Right. <laughs> not that it really matters. I'd have what it I anyway. <laughs> not that it matters what I say. Just an opinion, you know. Just an opinion. I'll just put that back on there. Yeah, the only reason, I'll just go over it, the only reason I have an issue with people using military ration packs when they're going out for a night or two nights out is because the ration packs are designed to give soldiers loads and loads of energy for yomping and, and all the, 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 that difficult work they've got to do. And as you can see, Rob's working really hard. So he's, he's working really hard now before he has his chocolate. Fingers to the bone, mate. <laughs> I'm, I'm healthy, can't we? <laughs> If you want to come camping with me, just let me know. <laughs> Have you noticed there's not many people coming forward? <laughs> Look on my Facebook, there's hardly anybody. Shane, Shane Winfrow, how you managed it? I don't know, mate. I don't know. Richard Ryder, may have Lord have mercy on your soul. Um, and you'll never be the same after this again. You'll know that, don't you, mate? <clears throat> Rob lives on a boat, don't you, Rob? I do. No boat. I've always wanted to live on a boat. Canals are a little bit of a touchy subject for me, in all honesty. Canals and GoPro Hero 4s. <laughs> so, with, I'm not going to eat onto that one, but yeah, I would love, 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 love to live on a boat. I really would. But Lulu, my other half, she doesn't like water, boats. She likes water, otherwise, obviously, she wanted to get a bath and wash it off. But she, she, she doesn't like rivers and canals. She's got this sort of thing that she, she might drown. Anyway, I'm going to stop ranting and driving you insane. I can understand why people look at my videos and, and just think, oh my God, all right? But we're all different, aren't we? And maybe I'm just a little bit special and I'd rather be, <laughs> I'd rather be, I'd rather be special. I'd rather be special. Spe and brandy makes me even more special. Uh, not that we've, we're only a tiny little bit, aren't we? So yeah, only a sip. God help you when I've done this. Only a sip so far. <laughs> Ah, oh, brandy. Anyway, I'm going to have my oats and uh, I'll leave you with it. See you in a bit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it has come to that time indeed. What time is it? You know. Um, 23 minutes past nine. 23 minutes past nine. And we're having a nice relaxing evening. And if we just happen to fall asleep, well, that's fine. <laughs> but... This is the last vlog input for this evening. It started splattering with snow. You know the really fine stuff. Look at that one. I can do dog things off the wall. <laughs> See you in a bit, people. <laughs> Have a lovely evening. I'll uh, spare you my insanity till tomorrow morning. Bye. So bye bye, mate. Bye. <laughs> bye. bye. <laughs> Well, we were going to go to sleep, but Craig Twiner, Twinner, 
Craig, is it Twiner or Twitter? We've been discussing it. Discussing it. Like, discussing. We've been discussing it. We don't know if it's Craig Twiner or Twitter. But like, anyway, it's reminded me, or requested, and I do like to keep people happy, about a ghost story. And what a wonderful place to have a spooky, spooky ghost story. Do you like the lighting, by the way? We've done well there, mate. I'm impressed. Bob's put his light into this as well. Anyway. The last time I was here, I knew there was a bit of an urban legend and a local story about this place being haunted. It's called Robin Hood's Cave and Robin Hood's Balcony. So I'm taking it for granted. Oh, I'll take this off. I'm taking it for granted. From here it's all stuck up. I'm taking it for granted that apparently Robin Hood should have been here right, at some point anyway. So. This is, so I'm, I'm taking it that this place is supposedly haunted by Robin Hood um, or one of his merry men or somebody who knew him. Yeah? End of the day, this location where we are now will have been known by people for a whole long time. Way back to Neanderthal Man, Neanderthal Man, which whatever that one is. Craig Twiner, Twinner, Neanderthal, Neanderthal. It's all getting a bit confusing, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm off on one again. Anyway, well, we know that the the spooky times are apparently between three and five. Yeah? This is down to, apparently down to the light, the frequency of the moon coming, uh, the frequency of the light coming from the moon. All right? It's also down to brain frequency. It's a theory that people experience things at the seven to, seven to 14 hertz uh, brain frequency range is when you just fall into sleep or you're in light sleep zone. People who are driving lorries, all that kind of stuff, or driving for a long period of time, get tired. That's when people tend to see things on road and ghosts on road and all kinds of things like that. Elderly people, the brain frequency drops down to that frequency, and so do children. And that's where these people tend to see spooky, spooky things. Anyway, so I'm laid there in this very hooped bibby, just over there. Just kill one of the lights. Just. Ooh, ooh, uh, there we go, I've got, got the effect back. Just over there, up on the top, all right, on the top slab. Half past three in the morning, I started to come around, someone woke me up, sort of thing, you know, I'll have sleep. And I could hear what sounded like. Like somebody was talking in the tunnel, which leads from the top slab around into the balcony. It wasn't on the balcony, I could tell it was in this sort of tunnely area and it got like a bit of an echo to it. It worried me a bit because I immediately thought I would have managed to get past me without waking me up. Um, and this went on for about four minutes and then it just stopped. And I could hear what sounded like shuffling around, like feet moving around and such like. Was that the spooky, spooky ghost which has apparently experienced it? Also, many, many, many years ago, the people from the surrounding area would relieve people of their lives. <laughs> I know it would be too drastic because they murdered people. Um, and would take the people up onto the hills, put the bodies on the rocks, and in the, on the moors and such like, more down the rocks, and leave them to the weather and the animals. And these people would then be rot down, uh, and the animals would take all the meat, and all the um, weather would take all the, the meat and all the, all the dirty, disgusting stuff away. All right? Uh, and they'd be left with a skeleton and they would take the skeletons then down into Sheffield and Manchester uh, and surrounding areas, towns and cities, uh, to be used in universities uh, for, um, for research and for people to learn about the skeletal structure. So, sometimes, every now and again, a skeleton's filmed up here on the moors and all, probably other moors and all um, around the country and other countries. But it did quite, quite a bit up here, you know, honestly. You've got to remember, there worked a lot of industry and they had to make a few bob. You know, when you want to go out on a weekend, you've got no money, <laughs> kill somebody, have them up on moors, wait till they pass you, I suppose. It, it takes a while, doesn't it, really, to happen. Anyway, it's just a way of making a few extra bob. I suppose maybe, maybe it was like an old fashioned, Bob, it might be an old fashioned way of making money like people do on social security. Huh? Yeah, you know. Maybe Noble we'll somebody. Try it. Hey? Maybe we ought to try it. Yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah. Noble somebody. You know, I'm looking at you there now. Your face looks like your face is changing into shape of 
Oh, it's really weird. It is quite spooky, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so there you are, Craig. Your story for tonight. If I think of any other, I'll throw it on. Uh, but there you go. Do you like our, our spooky light effects? Thank you very much for that, Rob. I much appreciate it. Well, well, aliens, isn't it? Well, but I wanted to add that spooky aspect in, and it's taken us five, <laughs> only five minutes. So now we're allowed to go and, and, and sort of mellow out and crash out and sort of relax before we fall into some kind of sleep. <laughs> but will we wake up in the morning? <laughs> See you in a bit, guys. And a very, very spooky good night. Good morning, all from the cave. I'm still alive. The Tyrannosaurus rat never, never got around to chewing me to death. <laughs> it's still in there. You can stay in there. Have you noticed? It's not, oh, there's not going to be many spiders this time of year, is there? I suppose no not in no here. Spiders in here. No spiders. No. Well, good morning. It's what time again? Quarter past seven. Quarter past seven. Here he is, look. Oh! <laughs> Still alive. And that's looking outside, look. The sun's coming up now. <laughs> Nicely. In theory. In th yeah, in theory. There you go. And we're going to be packing up in a bit and taking a stroll back. I've got a blister. Mm. Uh, and last night it was proper twanging. It's not like me to get a painful blister, but that hurt me. It's quite bad. Boots. It's been big boots, just done it. So I've put myself a plaster on. I don't very often get uh, what's it, blisters, but for some reason these boots have been giving me a blister at the same place. So that's going to be something I'll be looking at. So good morning, everybody. I'll take some photos on the way back, and then we'll do uh, a video as we get back to the end of Burbage, just to say goodbye for now. So I'll see you in a bit. Bye for now. <laughs> Okay everyone, we've finally, we've finally done our little camp and we've stayed in the cave hotel. Have you enjoyed it? Uh, definitely. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much Rob for coming along, I very very much appreciate it. I know I'm not the easiest person to do it. <laughs> no, it was brilliant. No, excellent stuff. Well thank yeah. you very much for everyone, or to everyone for watching. I really really do appreciate your views. If you could please like, share and subscribe, as I've said many times before, if you like it, I know you've enjoyed it, I know I'm doing it right. If you share it, other people get to see it. And if you subscribe, you'll get updates and other people can go on your subscriptions and see that you like the videos. Uh, you like the videos, don't you? Rob? I do. I've liked them. I've subscribed. Excellent. Top mark. So there you go. That's what you're going to do. And goodbye from me. Goodbye from the Dark Peak and here on Burbage. And we'll see you again soon. To be honest, it'll most probably be Magic Shed. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to go home now, get all my stuff out to dry everything off, get it all cleaned and packed away, and get ready for his next adventure. Bye! Cheers! <laughs>